Hey guys, what's up? It's QB time, and in today's episode of Will It Lube, we will be putting mini marshmallows in a 3x3. So guys, today we're going to be putting mini marshmallows in this cube here, and this is a Dian Chang stickerless, and it's a piece of crap. Now, if you guys have seen this a million times, then just skip to the time at the bottom of the screen for the lubing to begin, but if you are new to this series, I'm going to do a quick review in this puzzle to set a baseline and then see how it performs after I'm done lubing. So this is a DN Shing stickerless and it's pretty bad. It can barely do 180 degrees with one flick and it's just slow and terrible. It can barely corner cut over a half a piece and it pops really, really easily. It's just a pretty terrible performing puzzle. Um, it's just really bad. So. Today we're going to be putting marshmallows, mini marshmallows to be precise, in this puzzle. So I'm going to crack open this brand new bag and we're going to begin this. So um, I'm just going to put as many as it can do. It's basically going to be like the fluffy bunny challenge but with a cube. So um, let's just open this real quick and there we go. Alright, I'm going to take out a... F actually, hey, I'll take out a full row today and... Um, Let's just start putting them in and seeing how many you can do. So I'm just going to put that one in and like shove it in there and then do another one. Um, I'll just keep doing this then until it really can't fit anymore. Alright, I'm going to turn it around now. I'll go over here and put some on this side. This is literally the fluffy bunny challenge. Okay, Ugh. that's about as muff enough as it's gonna get in there. So let's just put these pieces back in if they actually fit. Oh god, something tells me this is not gonna be a good one. Okay. Hmm, okay, now all the pieces are back together. Let's begin the turning of it. You gotta break it in. Oh gosh. Yeah, this one is not turning out like I thought it would, but okay, it's turning a little bit. Uh, let's see if we can get this side turning. Alright, it's starting to break in a little bit. So, okay. <laughs> not that I expected this one to be good, but it just makes your cube extremely, extremely slow. Oh gosh. And it's very prone to plop popping so um as you can see it's performing it's actually able to turn it's just extremely slow and catchy so now we're going to be taking a look at the inside of the puzzle and as you can see after scrambling into here it turned into like a solid liquid the marshmallows disintegrated and it became more of a lubricant which is kind of funny and it actually makes it turn a little bit better as you can see during this solve here um, my turns are so slow and it just takes forever I think it's like a minute seven second solve so now I'm gonna tell you my final thoughts on marshmallows as a lube and uh, there's no other way to put it but it sucks it is so terrible, it makes your puzzle turn so slowly, not that I wasn't expecting it, but I don't know if you uh, warm up the marshmallows and or roast them, if it'll help the performance or not, but that remains to be seen. So overall, I give marshmallows a thumbs down. If you ever had a campfire, a bonfire, anything, and you're roasting marshmallows and cubing, don't ever put them in your cube because it is a grave mistake. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Will It Lube. Comment what you want to see next on my channel and comment what you want me to put in a 3x3 next. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.